Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in his 16-foot luxurious Coachman 2018 travel trailer. Very nice in his too big $3 Walmart shirt. A little colorful, isn't it? But anyway, hey Google, good morning. Good morning, Rusty. It is 7.12 a.m. Right now in 78611, it's 45 and clear. Today, it'll be mostly sunny, with a forecasted high of 73 and a low of 55. Have a wonderful day. You too, dude. Hey, Google. Tell us a joke. Okay, here you go. How do bureaucrats wrap presents? With lots of red tape. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 34. That's not bad. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Alamogordo, New Mexico? The current temperature in Alamogordo is 29. <laughs> no, boo, boo. No, 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 no. That's a little cool for old dad. But anyway, it is Monday morning, February the 26th. Yeah, I think 2018. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'm going to be going camping uh, next uh, Monday and Tuesday at a Corps of Engineer Park. Even though they've got water and electric, I'm not going to use it. I want to see how my solar and stuff works. And I've got an idea on using my 110 fridge and my uh, blue ice things. Those little things you freeze and put in your ice chest. <clears throat> We're going to see how all that works. Anyway, this is Raymond Juancito using my RV something. If I understand you and your videos, you have sufficient solar and battery capacity to get a singular unit that meets your needs without having to put cooler plat packs to keep your food cold and safe under any conditions. You might be right. I don't know. Uh, Dr. Dan... Ah, uh, yes, springtime in Texas. It says, I traveled a lot and for work in the last 36 years and incredibly missed both weeks of spring in southeast Texas every year. Kind of looking forward to experiencing it for a change. Well, it's not too bad. This is uh, Chance Armin <clears throat> on Camping Something. Uh, Rusty78609, you should have. Boy, when they start off like that, you know where you're headed. You should have got the 2017 Ram 1500 Lone Star regular cab four-wheel drive because you have the manual sliding rear window and also the 110-volt outlet in the cab of the truck. Chance, you are absolutely right. And the next time I get ready to buy a car, I'm going to call you and tell you what I'm going to buy, and then you tell me what I should buy, and then you pay the difference, okay? I understand you're making a good point but no it was too much Jim Christensen you are feeling like a million without the million this morning <laughs> yeah yeah that's true I am I always try to feel like a, a million and I ain't got I can't make change for a five dollar bill <clears throat> uh, John Spoden drive in Texas howdy rusty van living to class a could you help folks out by talking about the monthly cost of full-time full -time boondocking? Minimum cost to live monthly in each one. Thanks, Rusty. Well, that would take a video. <clears throat> I may do something on that. Because it's, there's not as much difference as you think. Uh, Michael Roach, new RV. You have the hose, the clamps from hell. Uh, Rusty, the way you remove these is you cut them off with a pair of side cutters. Now isn't that crap? You have to replace them with new clamps and they require a special tool to crimp them. But let the dealer fix it. Warranty time. No, that's why I'm going to the dealer. I mean, yeah, come on. You know, that's, that's the reason they do that is, is pretty simple. Number one, you probably do have to buy a new tool. And number two, you'll, you'll end up taking it to the dealership and get charged 200 bucks an hour. Anyway, Mike Brandenburg uh, on the new hose clamps, he says, he says, hacksaw them off. And then Bill Redding says a Dremel is better, whatever a Dremel is. Uh, new RV hose clamps, he says, Rick S. says, those are PEX clamps with PEX tubing. 
I know there is a special tool to install new ones, not sure how to remove them, possibly use a set of diagonal cutters to cut them off, cut them off. <clears throat> Alright, and then Douglas Cheney left me a link to something, probably on the hoses or the clamps. Cajun Jameis says, Rusty, there is a tool for crimping and removal of these clamps. If you change the clamps, try to go back to the metal fittings I borrowed these tools once from a plumber yeah if I if I ever have to take those clamps off I'm just gonna go to the screw clamps yeah I don't know why never mind my other RV the Jayco the 2013 it had those cramp clamps too and when I had changed the toilet out I had to cut them off I had to cut the hose off and, and then pull it off you couldn't get them off <clears throat> anyway crap max air fan or fantastic whatever this is Sarah, LOL, happy Saturday, oops, I mean Sunday, LOL, getting ready to shower and go to Sunday dinner with family, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I love your excited videos over your superiorly planned multiple option unit with an overnight Explorer pull vehicle. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to do that overnight next week. DJ's travel RV clamps. I would purchase a few clamps with these hex screw fittings for spares. I'm telling you, I, I may. I, well, when I take it to the dealership, I'm going to try to get them to give me a tool and clamps, too. They won't, but I'll ask. RV Legal Eagles and Paws on the clamps. It says, just another rabbit hole with tools. I hear you, like most everything else these days, LOL. Keep the economy going. Best idea I read so far is to cut them off and put the old-fashioned ones back on if there's room. I hear you. No, I agree with you. Robert R. on the clamps. This is a minor fix and it might be wise to do it yourself. The dealer will not always do be down the road. Just use 10 snips to cut the clamps at the cramp point, peel away, then replace with good quality screw clamps. Uh, when you get done, you will have the tools and the much needed know-how. The dealer is sure to put the cheap crimp ons back on. Oh, I'm sure they will. I'm going to ask them not to, though. <clears throat> Mike Butterfield, you need to clamp down on this situation. That is too funny. I thank you. Stacks or Funk? That's the guy's name. Rusty, you have a, he says he has a, I have a 2010 Prius dash cam stopped working. I have two 12 volt power ports, one where cigarette lighter typically is, and one in console. Do they both use same fuse? Neither are working. I tried other adapters and both and no go well stacks and funk i'm not a repair man all i did was a video showing you where the the fuse box was located so you'll have to check with toyota on that <clears throat> this is augmandino new new rv clamps rusty that is pex tubing and clamps our new house is plumbed in it motorhome too sorry you got a leak they are rare also pretty near impossible cold will bust it together tougher than regular PVC copper or steel pipe interesting bet you will learn to like it well that's interesting to know thank you uh, this is on the max air stuff I see you 812 that is a genius suggestion <laughs> your wisdom is astonishing Rusty it's no wonder you're world renowned yeah all I said was just never mind you know, when you're using your Max Air Fantastic Fan, if you have the door open, it's going to pull all the air in there and then right out. But if you close your door and just have your windows far farthest away from the vent open, it'll pull the air right by you. You'll be very comfortable. Anyway, Roger Martin on Drive in Texas. Rusty 78609, plain and simple. A house don't make a home. Enough said. Thank you. <clears throat> John Hartz on Social Security says, what about health insurance? Well, what about it? I mean, you can get Medicaid at 65. Well, at 62, you're screwed. I mean, you just, you gotta, you just got to stay healthy, that's all. Rodlin 100, new RV host, says, hey, good. no, I ain't going to say that. Tell me a joke. How do you make a hormone? Don't pay her. How do you make a hormone? Don't pay her. Ha <laughs> ha. Cute, Ronlin. Take, keep taking your medication. <laughs> Tiny home, Chucky Bands, B-A-N-D-Z. I definitely would live in that. Yeah, they are nice. Will Hunt on the 
RV hose clamps. Got a lot of comments on those hose clamps because apparently they aggravate the crap out of a lot of people. They are aggravating, man. Uh, it says uh, you need a Dremel, D-R-E-M-A-L, with a metal cutting wheel. Cut very careful not to damage hose, then install standard hose clamp. I hear you. Thank you, Will. John Cook uh, it says the old-fashioned clamps are too easy to fix. They want your money, Rusty. It's true. It's the same way on cars. In fact, to get your headlight out of some of the vehicles, you have to have a special tool to get the screws out so you can get the headlight out. That's not an accident. 2018 New Camp Sam W. says, he says, what do you have on order? I, I'm not the dealer. I, j I just did a video. That's all. <clears throat> Patrick 1967 new RV hose clamps. I use side cutters to cut off clamps and I have had to buy a tool called a PEX clamp installer. You must pull heater out of side of camper to install new clamps. Not, not fun or practical. Amen. Well, you know, the good thing about my RV uh, hot water heater is I can get to it from the, I can get to all the hoses from the inside. They're right there. I mean, easy peasy. And uh, so, yeah, I, I could work on that thing real easy, but I'm not. <clears throat> Shelly Smith, Casita versus Scamp. She says, LOL. Thank you. Mike and Willine Gladue. Max Air. He says, we have a Max Air 4500K fan. It's my wife's favorite model I installed. We installed the Max Vent 2 cover over it. We were running the generator and AC a lot to keep our dog cool when we were away from the RV, but now, in moderately warm weather, we just use the fan, open some windows, and save on the wear and tear and expense of generator use for that. Yeah, they are good. I love them, man. I love them, and fantastic fans are good, too. Uh, this is on the Casita 2017. This is Queen of Domination. That's the name. Are those chairs able to come together to become a double bed? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. But you can call Casita and find out. Uh, John Ryan, new RV hose. Yep, clamps from hell. <laughs> That's the truth, boy. They are. It's a good name for them. Uh, cheap or free something. AJ, love this guy. Straight to the point. No BS. Well, I, don't, I guess he's saying I don't. Well, I do. I BS a lot. <clears throat> Pat, new RV hose. What sadistic fiend? What sadistic fiend designed the designed that clamp? I do not know, but I'd like to. Never mind. Why couldn't they just use normal hose clamp that you use a screwdriver to tighten and loosen? They don't. I don't know why. Anyway, here is a posting on how to remove those demonic clamps without destroying your trailer. He's got a link. Thank you, Pat. This is J T. C-O-R-I-S-I-S, -I Corisis, I guess, RV hose clamps. To remove those, to remove these, Dremel tool with cutting disc works. No loss of, no, no loss of tubing. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Donald Everett, RV boondog on green tea. I would never have taken you for a green tea guy. Then again, my older brother got into it, LOL. I've been drinking green tea for probably 20 years. Long time. Comment call. Here we go. Scotty Thompson. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, Scotty Thompson. Cool comment call, Rusty. I like to drink water, Rusty. Cool Max Air fan or fantastic fans. A tip. Talk, Rusty, and driving your truck. Cool driving tech, Central Texas. Talk and driving your truck, Rusty. Cool new RV hose clamp. Talk, Rusty. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Scotty Thompson, for leaving a comment, my friend. Enjoy your day. You're a year older now. WW Exploring 1984. Thanks sharing some wisdom with us. You're welcome. Echo or Google. Yeah, I just said buy them both. The darkness came. That's the person's name. For the record, record, Google Play is going to start audio books if they haven't already. It will just be their service, though, not Audible. Okay, so they're not going to use, I guess what that means is they're not going to use Amazon's Audible service. They're going to start audio books and sell them to you. Okay, 
Well, good. That's fine. I'll use Google every now and then. Well, I, you know, let me tell you what. Audible books are expensive. Audio books at Amazon, you know, even if you have Prime, they're they're expensive. So, but be that as it may. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Tell us a joke. One joke coming up. What sound do porcupines make when they kiss? Ouch. What can I say? But anyway, having ended up with a very weak video a very weak joke thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy anything you want your little heart desires whenever you want to buy it but use the link to amazon products in the description of my video a few of you have done it thank you very much why use the link because i get a small commission and it doesn't cost you a dime so if you're going to buy something from amazon anyway might think about it anyway what else Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you. It will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it will help you lose weight. Because you'll be full of water, you won't want to eat so much. Okay, what else? Take deep breaths. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure, and that's very good for you. And what else? Stretch, 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 walk, swing those arms, you know what I mean, stay loose, and uh, keep your health, because that's what it's all about. And what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind, because what you let in there are ingredients, all right? And if you want to be happy, you better be letting some pos positive stuff in there. But if ne don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get in your head. Turn the TV off when the talking heads go crazy, or if you pick up a newspaper and the headlines are always going to be pain, misery, death, all the crap, okay? You know, uh, so just don't do it. Don't, never mind. Do what you got to do, but in my opinion, stand guard at the door of your mind because this right here is a very important part of your health, your thoughts. If you feel good up here, you got a good mental outlook, the rest of this is probably going to do pretty good, okay? But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, right now it is exactly 40 here on my patio. I just looked at my outdoor temperature gauge, 40 degrees, and it'll warm up nicely because we've got a partly cloudy sky. The sun's already coming up, and it will only be another couple of weeks. We spring forward we turn our clocks forward so make a note of that anyway guys enjoy your day enjoy your life adios bye bye